Before we get to the list of why people are leaving Iowa, I wanted to come out on this gorgeous day here in Iowa. If every day was like this, there'd be no reason to not move here because of weather. It's 75 degrees and just absolutely perfect. Right now I'm at Morgan Creek Park here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and behind me are the walking trails. Just a bunch of trails way back there. And behind that, behind me now is the pavilion. Very nice pavilion. People use this to rent it out. And over here is the children's playground. Just a great park overall, just beautiful. But anyways, guys, this video is about why people are leaving Iowa, so let's get right to it. Iowa can be a wonderful place to live, but today we're gonna talk about why people are leaving Iowa in 2023. What's up guys? My name is Tony and my business partner is my wife, Anna. We are real estate agents here in Iowa. If you're interested in what it's like to live, work, play, eat, and buy or sell real estate here in Iowa, then this is the channel for you. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so every time we come out with a new video, you get notified every single week. We have many people reaching out, asking us what it's like living in Iowa, what they can expect, and we absolutely love that. So if this is you and you have questions about what it's like living here, make sure you leave a comment after this video. Also, if you are moving to Iowa in 10 days or 10 months, be sure to reach out with a phone call, text, or email as we love talking to people about what it's like getting relocated to this wonderful place in the country and helping people make that smooth move to Iowa. And also I wanna mention, we have a team of agents in all of Iowa to help you, so let us help you find your next home if this list doesn't scare you away. So today we're talking about why people are leaving Iowa. I have been a licensed realtor here in Iowa for almost three years now, and I have lived here my entire life, and that is where this list is coming from. Being a realtor and having the pleasure of building top relocation team in the state with the living and Iowa team, we have heard many reasons why people are packing their bags to another state or country. We have compiled it down to the top four reasons why people are leaving. First, we're gonna start with job opportunities and career advancements. Due to Iowa's culture of great education and hard work, when an Iowan gets to the age that they will join the workforce, many times their skills and resume are attractive, not just in Iowa, but across the country and world. There are many students that come from all over the world and country to attend major universities of Iowa and Iowa State to their longstanding history of providing excellent education that leads to some of the best jobs worldwide. With that being said, even though Iowa has cities such as Des Moines, Cedar Rapids, Davenport, Waterloo, Cedar Falls, Council Bluffs, and Sioux City that take up some of that workforce, many look to bigger and better paying cities and areas around the world and country. Being a realtor, I have met, or my team members have told stories of Iowans leaving the state due to job offers other states can provide that are just too good to pass up. We have seen people leave to Nebraska, Minnesota, Texas, Florida, North and South Carolina, Illinois, Michigan, South Dakota, the country of Hungary, and I'm sure I am forgetting other places. Overall, Iowa does have a good job market, but we have seen a lot of times bigger cities can offer pay that Iowa just cannot match. This is not always the case, as like I said, some of the larger cities in Iowa can pay well, but overall, we do see people leaving for this reason quite often. Let us know in the comments where you're located and whether you are in the state or out of the state, how your job opportunities and career advancements are in your areas. Second on the list is going to be weather. Weather in Iowa is a major factor that ties into the next reason, but weather in Iowa can be downright volatile. I don't hear anyone ever say they are leaving because of the spring or fall as the weather is just about perfect at times during those times of the year. So we will leave those out, but Winter is easily the top reason within the weather category on why people are leaving due to weather. Iowa can get very cold in the winter. In fact, I track the weather here in Iowa, comparing it to other colder regions of the United States, and Iowa is colder throughout the winter than the northern states such as Montana, northern Idaho, and even Washington state. We have many really cold days and nights during the harsh winter months of January and February. It is not uncommon to get multiple days under zero during these months. Winter at the longest here 
in Iowa last November through March. It can be milder in the months of November and December and even March, but it can also be downright cold, be downright cold and harsh. Iowa gets a moderate amount of snow as well that can make driving here dangerous throughout the span. On the flip side, Iowa in the summer is extremely humid. In fact, Iowa has been named the most humid state in the United States multiple times and consistently ranks in the top five most humid states each year. This means when it warms up, which it does in the summer, it is really uncomfortable and your sweat does not dry. This makes the air conditioning a must here. Last issue that people leave Iowa due to weather is because of thunderstorms and tornadoes. Iowa is in an area that does get more tornadoes than many other states. Iowa is considered to be in the tornado alley with an average of 51 tornadoes a year throughout the whole state. Oklahoma, which is known as the mecca of tornadoes in the United States, gets 68 tornadoes a year on average. This just shows that Iowa is a state that you must be prepared for tornadoes as they can happen here. Most of the tornadoes in Iowa are not large tornadoes, but we have seen EF5s, which is the largest category and biggest tornadoes according to the EF scale. These are rare, but are a potential here in Iowa. People do not miss this threat of tornadoes and thunderstorms when they leave Iowa. Just wanted to jump in real quick and mention we have lots of other videos in our library including one that covers the weather. So if you're getting value make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Now let's get back to the list. Let's keep it rolling with number three and that is things to do. If you're from Iowa or moving here then you probably have heard it is boring here. That all depends on what you consider fun but there are a couple different reasons I believe people consider Iowa boring. First is the lack of a large city that supports professional sports that goes hand in hand with top performing entertainers. In Iowa, we have a grand total of zero professional sports teams. Although Des Moines is growing, it is still not big enough to support a professional sports team. With a large enough city to support a professional sports team comes the entertainers. You can still see lots of good performers and entertainers, but you may have to travel or pick the entertainers that happen to come to the city near you. Where we live in Cedar Rapids, we have lots of big name entertainers at the U.S. Cellular Center, but it is not an every weekend type of deal though. Then Iowa City, Des Moines, Davenport, and other larger cities can have big names as well throughout the year. In Iowa, we also have the Iowa State Fair and the other county fairs each summer. Those tend to bring in bigger crowds and entertainers. For example, this year at the Iowa State Fair, performers Eric Church, the Black Keys, Ludacris, and Jason Aldean are all coming during that week to Des Moines, where the Iowa State Fair is located. Overall though, Iowa just does not bring in great entertainment like larger metropolises. Let's talk about Iowa's landscape. Even though Iowa has beautiful rolling hills and cornfields, we do not have any mountains or the ocean or larger lakes. We do have lakes in Iowa, but comparing Iowa to northern neighbors of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and South Dakota, Iowa is definitely not on the same level. Iowa does have hunting with the white-tailed deer, the trophy of the state when it comes to hunting, but we do not have the big game of the western states such as moose, large mule deer, elk, and bear. Tons of people here travel to go to the beach destination, whether that be Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, the Gulf of Mexico destinations, or California beaches. This makes people debate on if they want to live there instead of traveling there often. We do have lots of residents leaving for warmer temperatures that come with the ocean and the beach. Fishing in Iowa is a hit or miss as well, especially if you compare it to the states I mentioned before. Altogether, Iowa does have more to do than it is given credit for. But if you are looking for concerts and sports events all year round, you may be disappointed. And also, if you're an extreme outdoorsman that loves the mountains, tons of lakes, top fishing destinations, and world-class big game hunting, then Iowa will not provide that for you. Last, but definitely not least, and number four is high income taxes. According to taxfoundation.org, Iowa is ranked 38th in the nation when it comes to the state tax systems. Here in Iowa, the sales tax is 6%. Graduated individual income tax ranges from 4.4 to 6%, and Iowa's corporate income tax rate ranges from 5.5% all the way to 8.4%. All in all, you pay your fair share of state taxes here in Iowa. 
The silver lining from an insider that I know is that there is a lot of plans in the mix to improve the state tax rate by lowering taxes in the state. It is all hearsay at this exact moment. There are a lot of changes that are being talked about. Hopefully Governor Reynolds will help this situation before her term is up or before the next re-election for her. So there is the compiled list of the top reasons people are leaving Iowa. And if you have anything to add in, leave it in the comments below. Overall, Iowa has many amazing features that people just like you are commenting, calling, texting, emailing, and letting us know about. If you need some help in any part of the state buying or selling real estate, we have you covered. Just reach out to us at the Living in Iowa team by call, text, or email. You should see it on the screen right now. We would love to help you make that smooth move to Iowa. Now, I know we covered why people are leaving Iowa, but we also did a video on why people are moving to Iowa. You should see it on linked above. Make sure you check that out if you're curious about the upside of moving here into the state of Iowa as there is plenty of positives to moving to Iowa.